funny, but for all the dueling these hands have done, I cannot remember why I ever picked up a deck. All my dueling lately has been for Hart. My whole reason for being was to gather numbers to save him. But now that he's safe, what's next for me? Hey, Kite, be careful. Don't worry about a thing, Hart. This time, there's nothing we stand to lose. I only agreed to this duel as a favor to Yuma. And besides, Hart, he's never been a challenge. Be sure and watch the duel. I promise to put on a good show. Good luck. for our duel against Kite. Yes, as am I, Yuma. I mean, Kite is like a super powerful duelist. The first time we dueled him, he totally creamed us with his galaxy eyes. Then after that, you and I harnessed the power of Zexo dueling him, but he still matched us card for card. And then we tag dueled with him to rescue Hart. I've always been amazed by his dueling, and the more impressed I got with his skill, the more beating him became a goal I had to reach. <laughs> Today, I think I'm finally ready for him, Astral. Man, you must super pumped to take on Kite. Um, guys, am I the only one who thinks Yuma is in way over his head? No, Flip. You're not alone. I think Yuma may be outmatched this time. Gotta admit, though, he'll probably lose, but it'll be a great battle. Come on now. Am I the only one that has faith that Yuma will win? Nope. Huh? Huh? What's that? Not sure. Hmm? Up there. What took you so long? We've been waiting for, like, forever. I'm here, aren't I? Hope you two don't mind. We want to watch this. This should be quite a show. Oh, it will be. But I can tell you how it will end. I will crush you up flat. Hey, Kite, I've been waiting a long time to take you on again. Now, we'll finally see who the better duelist is. Oh, please. The better duelist? Everyone here knows that's me. And now I'll be happy to prove it to you. Okay, let's see what you got. Duel this, go! Then let's do this! Photon transformation! Augmented reality vision link established. Let's do
Yeah, I don't know why, but I just can't! My recent experiences in battle have made me visible to some individuals. A truly interesting phenomenon. Well, I was first. You're all just copying me. Hey, you two. If you're done gabbing with your fans, let's get this duel started. Happy to. Okay, I'll go first and get the show on the road with this draw! I summon Gunbara Knight in attack mode! Whoa, what the what? You must pulled some boneheaded dueling moves in the past, but this one might just take the cake! Yes, in the end, summoning a monster with zero attack points in attack mode is rather eccentric. Uh, ah, who am I kidding? It's totally nuts! Yuma? Yes, Astral? Good move. Now I activate the spell, Zero Zero! Due to this card's effect, you can't attack monsters that are in attack mode with zero attack points. I've seen that look from Kite before, and would not be surprised if he summoned Galaxy Eyes next. But with our spell and Gunbara Knight's special ability, our defense is stronger. Yeah, I end my turn now, Kite. So let's see what you can do. I'm happy to show off what I've got in store right now. Since there's not a single monster on my field, I'm allowed to summon this card. Photon Thrasher. Next I summon... Photon Crusher! Photon Monsters. Well, here it comes, Astral. Now I tribute my level 4 Photon Thrasher and Photon Crusher! Ah! Ah! I exceed summon the monster more savage than a supernova! With a cataclysmic force of ten black holes put together! A cosmic scourge that vaporizes anything in its path! The incredible Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon! Whoa, Galaxy Eyes! No matter how many times it's played, it's always impressive! I agree, and now that my monster is out, it's time for it to sink its teeth into yours! Galaxy Eyes attack Gumbara Knight now! I don't think so! Due to Zero Zirak's effect, since Gambara Knight has zero attack points, you can't attack it! Don't be so sure! I can attack it when I activate the spell Galaxy Burst! By cutting Galaxy Eyes' attack points in half, two of your cards lose their effects! Uh. And I choose Gambara Knight and Zero Zirak! Impressive. Not only did Kite manage to summon out his monster, but he neutralized our defense, and he did them both in the same turn. Now Galaxy Eyes attack on Bara Knight! Photon Stream of Destruction! Points. Well, that settles it. Yuma's in over his head. Ah! Ah! That's teach to be so catty! Yuma! You're not giving up, are you? Nah, he just got lucky. <laughs> not bad. Not bad at all. But this duel is far from over. What a fool. No matter how hopelessly outmatched he is, Yuma always deludes himself into thinking he stands a chance of winning. Now I'm going to activate the spell Battle Gravity! You won't like it, because we both have to battle with all our monsters on each turn or take damage. So that means you'll be seeing a lot of my galaxy eyes. What? Astral, does that mean what I think it means? Yes, we must make a dire choice. We either fight Galaxy Eyes or our life points take a blow. You got that right, Astro. I place one card face down and... end my turn! And since my turn is through, Galaxy Burst's effect ends, so Galaxy Eyes' attack points as well as your Zero Rock's effect return to normal. No matter what moves you two make, I'll always be three steps ahead. Yeah, we'll see about that. You don't scare me. This is what dueling is all about. You make a move, then I try to outdo it. Ugh, dueling's loads of fun, huh? There's nothing fun about it. It's a job, a means to an end. No, you're looking at it all wrong. See, 
dueling for what it really is, a friendly competition. Maybe for you, but for me it was anything but that. Ah, uh, you need a new perspective. Try looking at things my way. Just feel the flow. Trust in the cards. Not only is it a great feeling, it'll really up your game, too. Sure will. In the end, he's right. Completely. Perfect. How true. A unique perspective. Not a bad speech there, kid. Feeling the flow is what I live by. What matters is having fun. Winning just happens that way. And maybe you'll make a new friend, too. What a total bunch of nonsense. Dueling's about crushing your foe. Huh? And after that, taking their numbers. Defeating their number cards is the only thing dueling has ever meant to me, Yuma. And I'll be beating your best next. Ha! No way that's happening. Cause I'm feeling the flow. My turn! I draw! And I'm summoning out Goblin Bird. <laughs> when Goblin Bird is successfully summoned, I can summon another monster from my hand. And here it is, Gaga -ga, Ga Magician! Next, I overlay my Goblinsburg and Gaga -ga -ga Magician. With these two monsters, I will be Overlay Network and XC Summon number 39, Utopia! Just what he needed. Win this! I knew it wouldn't be long before he summoned his number. Now, Utopia, attack Galaxy Eyes! Yuma! Utopia has less attack points than Galaxy Eyes! That's okay, because I use one overlay unit to stop Utopia's attack. That was a huge mistake, Yuma, don't you remember? Due to Battle Gravity's effect, if you don't fight my Galaxy Eyes, you take 1,000 points of damage. Yuma? No, because I'm not through. I activate the spell Flash Effect. Excellent. Since Utopia used its special ability, it not only gains 800 attack points, but all monsters lose their special abilities. What? Is this for real? Oh, yeah. That means Utopia powers up to 3,300 attack points. And Utopia and Galaxy Eyes lose their special abilities. Excellent. Utopia's attack on Galaxy Eyes can continue. However, this time, with more attack points. That's right. And Utopia's added power will allow us to slay that dragon. Galaxy Eyes is one monster I definitely will not miss. And now, Utopia, attack Galaxy Eyes! I don't think so. I activate the trap battle simulation! Now both our monsters' attack points are cut in half, and neither can be destroyed in battle. Nicely done. I'll say. I thought Yuma had the upper hand this time. Bet he didn't expect that move. That twerp's toast! One more thing. Now what? This! I activate the spell Double Bind! This card spells double the trouble for you, because it doubles Utopia's attack points. Bet you've begun to think about how to handle your loss, huh, Kite? I don't lose. Are you certain? Battle Simulation's effect ends, and Galaxy Eyes can be destroyed. Big deal. Bring it on, Yuma. Let him have it, Utopia. Attack with Rising Sun Slash! He really is quite remarkable. 
no matter how many times he's knocked to the floor, he always jumps right up again and gets back to dueling. Even though it usually means falling down all over again. I, on the other hand, am nothing like Yuma. talking about? What do you mean you can't go on? No, Kite, don't do this! This isn't a joke, is it? Because I'm not laughing. It's not, Yuma. I've realized I have no reason to go on dueling. But, Kite... You see, up until now, I dueled to gather all the number cards in order to save Heart. Now that heart's okay, I don't need to collect number cards. I've been so used to beating numbers that that's what I thought I wanted. But I see now that defeating your utopia is pointless. I forfeit. No way. You hear me? I won't accept you just quitting this duel, because I refuse to believe that this is what you really want. It is. Dueling lacks purpose for me. Kite, no. Listen, Kite, you are wrong. You see, Doolin does have a purpose, though you cannot see it. I used to think the only purpose to Doolin was regaining my memories. But I would soon learn that I was very wrong. You see, the more I duel alongside Yuma, the more I realize Doolin's true purpose. True purpose? Yes, it is friendship. The more you duel with someone, the deeper your bonds grow together. As was the case with Yuma, our hearts and minds grew closer. We became friends because we gained a greater understanding of one another. Dueling has done the same with you. It has made you my friend. You see, memories are only reminders of the past, but friendships carry you into the future. Please understand, Kite. You do not need to live in the past. Live instead for the future. I... Uh... Kite, he's right! Be just like me and high-five the sky! <laughs> well, not just like me, but you get the idea, right? Yuma... I guess what my good friend Astral is getting at is... Dueling rocks on so many levels. Oh, and the best part is, me and my friends never have to worry about grades or report cards on the duel field. It's gonna be okay. I promise. I've seen that look before, and Kite's definitely not giving up. I've never had many friends, and I don't know if any are in my future. But it sounds like dueling opens up a world of possibilities, and I'd be a fool to ignore that. Sounds good. That's just what I wanted to hear. Isn't that nice? It sounds like Kite has a renewed interest in dueling, and it's all thanks to Yuma. He has a lot in common with his father. They both see the value of friendship. Maybe they are onto something. Quentin, Quattro, Trey, we're off! Yes, coming, Father. Yuma, thank you for everything. You ready to get beat? You'll regret those words! See? You winning is not in the cards!